My name is Dana Moreno. I'm a project engineer and I work at Performance Contracting. I've been with PCI for a little over three years. Um, what keeps me coming back is, you know, just being able to pursue my career. Um, that was a big goal of mine and just um, be able to grow within a company. And of course, the people I work with, my team, my foreman, um, it's a good group. So I enjoy coming back to work every day. My path to my current position. So I've been here for three years. Um, the first year was um, very entry level. I was shadowing another PE um, and then just worked my way up from there. Um, started working on my own projects, not so much shadowing someone else. Um, and it just kind of blossomed from there. So my dad inspired me to pursue a career in construction. Um, I studied mechanical engineering in college, but um, just kind of seeing my dad every day and what he used to do, it gave me motivation that, you know, it's something that I could pursue and I just got pretty lucky with PCI. Um, so I've been here since. Something I wish people knew, it is a lot of hard work. It requires a lot of drive and good work ethic, but also the people are really enjoyable to work with. Um, if you get really lucky, you'll work with a GC that, you know, you end up becoming friends with, you get to do fun things together. So it truly is fun, but it is a lot of hard work. <laughs> so some unique skills that I think I bring to my position is my work ethic and my drive. You know, I really care about my career. I care about my job. Um, so I do work hard in everything that I do. Um, and I feel like it benefits the field because I'm there to support them. Um, they can rely on me and vice versa. So I feel like it's like that perfect balance when you know, you're matching the same energy with the foreman that you work with. I would say the people again, um, but also um, just being able to grow um, the financial stability and also, um, you know, it being fun and it's rewarding when, you know, you're working on a job and you see all your hard work come to life, you know, seeing the building up and running. And, you know, it's fun when you get to drive by the building again and you can say, oh, like I worked on that job or I remember that material, how long it took to get there. And, you know, little things like that make it rewarding. My day-to-day -day from start to finish, so wake up, come to work, and I'll just do my day-to-day -day tasks, um, usually on the phone with my foreman, um, depending on where we're at with the project, whether it's pre-construction or the construction phase. Um, and then, you know, after work, just either try to go work out or go home and relax, depending on the type of day that I had. Um, so every day will fluctuate depending on if whether I'm at the peak of my project or if I'm kind of, you know, at a slower pace. I would say the drive is, you know, this is my career. I care about my job. Um, I do want to grow within the company. Um, so that's my ultimate goal. And then also the people, my team, my foreman relies on me. So I got to be here and we got to show up for each other. The main factors that make a company's culture great, at least for PCI would be, um, you know, one of our core values is to have a fun company and customer alignment. So in that sense, like I said, when you work with the PE that's around your age with the GC, um, you get to, you know, do stuff together. You end up building a friendship or a, you know, a connection there. And then it translates, you know, um, if we both continue to grow within the companies and, you know, once we're older and that's, you know, the type of um, networking that we try to do here, so. Um, honestly, I don't remember what I wanted to be when I was younger. Um, I feel like I changed what I wanted to be like every other day. Um, but I do know that in high school, um, you know, in all my STEM classes, I enjoyed being in them. I enjoyed learning. I loved the feeling I would get when, you know, I would solve a problem. Um, so I feel like that was the main drive within my work ethic. Um, just, you know, not giving up and trying to figure something out if I don't get it. 
um, and that translated to, you know, pursuing mechanical engineering in college and eventually graduating. I would say something inspiring would be like, don't give up, um, don't be discouraged. There's going to be people that doubt you, but at the end of the day, um, you're doing what you need to do and you're pursuing your career and it's very rewarding, um, also financially rewarding. Nothing should be able to stop that if you put your mind towards what you want, whether it's a male dominant industry or if there's other obstacles that you might think are going to get in the way, they won't if you just keep doing what you got to do. Um, I think the most important lesson that I've learned in my career here is um, patience and don't take things too personal. Because I know sometimes, you know, someone might say something to you or, you know, um, argue back or fight back or push back, whatever. Um, so you might want to take it personally, but like I said, we're all just trying to do our job. We're all doing what we need to do. So it's just taking it for what it is and not taking it personal, which could also translate to real life. You know, I came in here not knowing anything about construction um, and right off the bat, I was given a project to run on my own, obviously with the guidance of my mentor and my PM. Um, but I was able to finish it from start to finish. It was a really difficult project. Fortunately, but unfortunately, my first job was a really difficult job that had a lot of issues, um, a lot of obstacles that had to be overcome. But I feel like that helped me grow individually as a PE because I had to learn everything so quickly. Um, but it also just kickstarted my career and I feel like that's what got me here to where I'm, where I'm at today. In my opinion, the importance of mental health and construction would be um, just to be patient um, and set boundaries because um, the job can consume you if it gets, you know, really busy or, you know, if you're drowning in your day to day tasks, um, just reach out, have someone to talk to um, and find things outside of work that'll kind of get your mind off of it. Um, like grind it out during the week and then enjoy your weekend and put your phone away and don't think about work because um, sometimes it will get really hard. Um, where, you know, you're just constantly thinking about work, the stress will consume you, um, the anxiety most of all, just because it is a lot of pressure with, you know, maybe managing like millions of dollars or, you know, you're managing a project that's building a building, you know. So it does come with like a lot of stressors, um, but at the end of the day, just trust yourself and go with your gut and, you know, make decisions confidently. Um, don't overthink things because I used to overthink things when I first started, but it'll come with time um, where you just start building that confidence and you'll understand that the decisions you're making make sense. But it, I'm not going to lie, it's really hard sometimes. It, it, will, it will consume you, but um, you just have to believe that it's, it's going to be okay. Everything's going to work out in the end and the job at the end of the day has to get done. So 